Hello boys and not boys and welcome back to the channel. We are on episode 50 today and we have a small fight to do at the beginning. I've just seen this army forming up, um, so we're just going to chase them down. What do you want, stranger? Which should be relatively easy. Yeah, they've not got a lot of anything. Um, we've formed an army. I've selected a bunch of guys that have got at least 100 troops. To give us just short of a thousand, I think. Think out a mouse. Horse bowmen! Move out! So same tactic as always, use the infantry to bait out the um, arrow shots while well, our archers tear apart their archers. That's three people, one archer, a potential Khan's guard and a Sturgeon soldier. It is what it is. Six troops. Oh, I don't need them. But I'm sure I can find them new homes. So. Oh. These guys aren't even with me yet. So let's do. Uh, that was a mistake. Taking all those troops. Fine. They're the horsemen we use anyway, the Vlandians aren't. 
Right, let's move to the top all the guys that we actually use, shall we? Uh, so let's do tier, top, bot down, Khan's Guard we use, Cataphracts we use. Those guys we don't. Those guys we don't. Nope, nope, nope. Heavy horsemen. Yep, we do use those guys. Italian heroes, we use those guys. Hired spears, crossbowmen, we don't. Those guys we use as part of the Khan's Guard Trek. <laughs> okay, so we're two up. What can we afford to lose two on? Um suppose the infantry will do. Done. We bought a bunch of stuff to level up with, so let's use it. Those guys want to upgrade, they literally just don't have the war horses. Which normally I just take a run down the steppy steppy step area and you can tend to find a lot of hunters down there. Fairly cheap as well. Like if you need horse upgrades, I would say cheapness wise, the Kazate lands are probably the best. Speed wise, the Azariah are best. Right, let's move. Ooh, that's a big one. Where are my guys? I'm gonna stay close to him, see if I can bait him away from whatever he was thinking of doing. Somebody's got a level up. Sun 3, Athletics. To be fair, thinking about it, the movement speed one probably would have been better for him. So he might be going to attack my army here. Just currently taking that. If he does... We can help them. Here's the rest of my army coming, look. Yeah, he's gonna he's going in on those guys. I'll pick up this two two groups. And then we'll attack him from this angle. Hit F5 again. I'm just conscious that we're doing big battles at the moment and we have had a few crashes. On my command! Dude went from being powerful to being, uh. Warriors, take to me! See, they're the aggressors, so in theory, they should be. Coming after us. Footmen, hear me. Move. Horse, forward. Get all this cavalry out of my way. They are coming for us. Which is interesting. Warriors! Get moving! Warriors! Form a wall! Footmen! 
<laughs> We've barely got enough to span the bridge. Move out! Hear me! Get move, move! Onward! Oh, just move them, idiot. Bowman! I'm gonna cut the Bowman. bowman down into smaller units I can use to. It's a big old gap there, right down the side. They can't really see anything because of the rocks there. Archers can be better placed. Move out. help out a little bit on the wall. Apologies, I think I had a bit of a jump in the recording though. Send the horses in now because we push them out into the open field. So we should. meat into the grinder.
keep thinning the numbers. Oh, missed. Oh, he still made it. Absolute legend. He didn't know. We call that a win. Seven troops. Ooh. Ooh, I've not got any low troops, have I? No. I've got 40 Khan's Guard and 11 waiting to be Khan's Guard. I've got 61 cataphracts. So have I got 69? Oh, because all my other dudes are on horses. 76 Britannian Fane Champions. I don't really have space for anybody. I could probably give away one horse archer, but then what would be the point? Now we're good. Scoop. Right, so. This behemoth. That we've been eyeing up for ages. Are you guys actually going to win that? Are you going to? Looks like you might lose it. Join the siege. Just because it was looking a little bit like they might, <laughs> might not have made it. <laughs> Continue. Leave. I didn't take it, so it's up to you guys to decide who gets it. I'm going to head up to Dungalis because we have got siege to do. So, uh, Marriage Press for Daughter 1, go away. Not interested in that right now. I have a town to siege. Is this garrison? 800. Light work. We've only got eight days worth of food. Oh, somebody done messed up. By the time I've got all my siege engines up. These people will be starving to death. Although we can't really starve because unfortunately we're going to have to make this quick. Because apparently that castle that we just took is now under attack. Now it's not. Somebody else has dealt with it. I imagine this guy. Okay. Oh, good news. Turns out we can spend a little bit of time here. We can starve you out. kind of feeling some kind of way about the Valandians, if I'm honest, because immediately after my father died, in-game, obviously, they declared war on me. So, all the time he was alive, they were not bothered. 
No, we don't want war. We don't want anything like that. As soon as dad's dead. War! Right. Okay. Fine. If war's what you want, war's what you'll get. And now, it's like, peace. Oh, peace. No. You picked this fight. Now we'll fight it to its conclusion. So until my men have had enough... Like, the diplomacy thing says 100% on my side as well, and it forces me to a resolution. I'm going to keep taking stuff. And in one war... That they declared, by the way, we've managed to take all of the Britannian lands off of them, from a town's perspective, and most of the castles, to be fair. So, we'll deal with this, we'll go down, we'll stop whoever's at Abcromba Castle, and I think by then we'll probably be at 100% on our side, and we'll have to concede the end of the war. But it is what it is. We could do with a break, to be fair. I could do with picking up some more horses to get these Khan's Guard finished off. So let's do our preparations. Check for upgrades. Done. And then check for skill ups. Oh, I've got one in engineering. Nice. I don't think either of those are going to be overly precious to me, but we'll take them anyway. Son's wife's gaining skill points. The other skill, son's wife's gaining skill points as well. Uh, go on horse, because that's what you want at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, she's leading, or should be leading our horse archers. Right. Let's get stuck in. Liberating the final Britannian town from the Valandians. There's a remarkably small amount of infantry. Why? <laughs> That's my only question, really. Why? Why have you given me 300 archers and only 74 infantry? Uh, that's the first breach in the wall. That's the second breach in the wall. So I think we might just play around this first breach. I don't think we need all these different archer groups. We'll just stick with one. And then it's son number three that leads them. Where is he? Oh, he's there. And then son one's wife. She's an archer as well. And the rest of you all good fellas. Come join the infantry with me. So we'll put the infantry right up close. What I don't understand is you've literally got a bunch of guys just stood there and nobody seems to be firing anything at them. But they're just there. They're right there.
can't. I can't actually see the range gauge, so we're just gonna have to feel it out. That's way too far. That's good. Probably back just a tiny bit and a bit to the left. Oh, right in their teeth. That was a good hit. Sun 5's doing alright as well. I thought we are having a race. Oh, he's, he's catching up. Quick. Give me another shot. When they've lost a certain amount, they will send in reinforcements, and then we'll get a bigger... ...bigger batch of dudes that we can hit. That's the door down. That was a good hit. Ah, pull back in front. Two eighteen, not far off getting my uh, metal edge perk. <sighs> Big hit. Yes, I'm going to wait now because if you see that symbol moving in the back, the distance, that fifty four, that means I've killed almost everybody on that wall. So they're sending more people to reinforce it. Why not just run hold fire? For why? Oh, that looked awesome. <laughs> Come on, Slowpoke. Nice. That's my horse walking into the, uh, just, just strolling into, into the key. It's like, ah, just don't mind me, guys. Pass through. Bowman, dismount. Oh. Arrow, follow your sergeants. Oh, we've only got three more shots. We do shoot significantly faster than um, 
the other catapults though, so they'll probably have a few more before we go charging in. We'll wait for that 90 to hit the wall, because that's their reinforcement wave. He's talking there, 200 dudes down already. The fight hasn't even started yet. Wait for more to gather up on that wall. Looks good. Last shot. And that's all she wrote. Yep, all the other crews have abandoned their catapults. Everybody's out of ammo now. That's fine. Might as well storm the wall. So I've given the overall charge order because now the archers will come in as well. Regroup, we're being separated out here. just pulled the infantry back into a square then um, just to regroup them because we're following three different pathways and getting like, ambushed by the reinforcement waves coming in. 
And it also gave the Fanes time to get over the walls and come in as well and start putting some arrows down range. So as soon as I saw that the Fanes had arrived, I then broke formation again. Done. Uh, I can do this, the keep attack myself because I've still got enough health and I shall take a whole bunch of legionaries with me. Because they're good troops. Sword's a bit long to be using in these hallways, but we'll give it a go. Ow. I think I might let the legionaries finish this one off. That took a pretty big hit then. Sounds like they're having fun. Hey! Oh. You oh. turned up just in. You arrived just in then. Some of our guys are being held prisoner. Village, I'll take it. Uh, you can have it. So, while I took this, one of you guys took another castle, did you? You did. Nice. Right, let's go and see what this is about down here. Check for war horses first and get rid of these prisoners. Uh, in fact, I do need another companion. What do you do? Scout? You are useless to me. Um, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, look for horses. They have nothing. Okay. I think we're overstocked on food again. Yep. How many days worth of food have got a 75? It's just too much. All right, we can have 250 fish. We'll have 250 grain. We'll have a hundred meat. Uh, oops. We'll have a hundred grapes, a hundred olives. 
50 below. Where are the hides? Uh, the iron ore, the silver ore, the wool, oil, raw silk, tools, all the stuff that I had to buy from the last place because he didn't have enough stuff. Ooh. We'll swap out our banner. There we go, we're no longer over encumbered. And we shall head down to see what's happening at this castle. Fingers crossed the garrison held out. No point in me fighting that battle. Not interested in prisoners. We'll do the upgrades though. Right, so we are 76, so we've got probably a couple more sieges in us before we're forced to give up on this particular endeavour. So I think we should go for revolt, because at least then, from one war, we've not only pushed them completely out of the Batanian lands as far as towns are concerned, but we've also reached out into their own homeland. Which I think will be a good place to be. What's your army size? 776, yours is 424. Oh, he's taken the castle. And this is what I meant by leave the castles to the others. These castles over time, as wars continue, I will continue pushing into the Valandian lands. And these smaller parties will continue to attack the castles and take the castles. What's your garrison? 600. And just to be clear, you see on the screen it's popped up a lot of times that people have escaped from my party. This is why people like to do the combination of mountain patrols, minus 50% escape chance, prisoners in your party, and also um, the... Is it this one? Yeah. The insight, minus 50% chance of prisoner lords escaping from your party. If you have both of those, which have to be for the party leader, then you've got a really good chance of um, people not escaping from your party, basically. You can keep them in your party almost indefinitely. And we got metallurgy. There we go. That's going to help. So a lot of people go for that combination. Personally, I don't I don't feel like I need it. I used to when I first started playing, but I think you it becomes a bit of a crutch. Because the game will, if you hold all of their lords in your party, it will increase the chances of them escaping. But it's not to the point where you would um Oh wow. Sorry, I'm doing two things at once. And he has a perk point to spend. Uh, I would spend... Sunfire's not leading anybody. He's currently leading... No, I was going to make him lead his own party, wasn't I? So, yeah, medicine. Might be the one that you want, pal. Uh, let's drop a quick save before we start the siege. And then we'll have to leave it there for today, guys. Because we are out of time. So, tomorrow we will come back. We will take Revolt. And we will see if we can take Ostican as well before this reaches 100 and we're forced out of this war.
But I'm glad to see that the Valandians, as soon as I was crowned king, because dad died, obviously speaking again, king died, I became king, and immediately the Valandians declared war on us and captured a lot of our territory. In retaliation, we've captured everything back that they took, plus we've taken all of the Batanian lands off of them, and now we're in the process of taking some of their own lands off of them, which I think is a great progress to be making. So with that, we'll leave it there, guys, and I shall see you in the next one.